Good evening. My name is Tammy. I'm the president of Fun and Adventure at Singles Travel International. And tonight is our meet and greet for Montreal Jazz Fest Singles Weekend. I'm here tonight with all of our members who are excited and getting ready for the vacation, which is just two weeks away or less. And we're going to get to know each other and answer all of our questions. So everybody's prepared. That's what we do with our meet and greets. And so uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I'm just going to share my screen. And uh, whenever you travel with us, uh, we put a final vacation details document on the website about 21 days before you leave. And once you click on that, you have access to that document. And I'm going to use that as my guide tonight to kind of go through what we'd like everybody to do to get ready for this vacation. We have a nice uh, checklist on the front page so that it makes it nice and easy. Just know that there's one, two, three, four, five things uh, for you to be prepared. And um, we're, we're just, uh, because we're going to Canada, it's not too daunting. And I'm going to use this to uh, go through step by step. So the first thing you're going to need is a passport. And so I think everybody's aware of that. But one of the things that everybody doesn't always know, and I like to bring it up, we still have two weeks in case there's an emergency, but you usually have to have your passport valid for a period of time after you return. And it's not intuitive. We all have passports that have an expiration date and you might think, oh, I can use that until that date but many countries require three to six months after your return date. So double check your passports just in case you haven't looked in a while and make sure that you have at least six months past our return date, which is July 5th uh, or yeah, July 4th or for everybody. Uh, travel insurance, highly recommended and not mandatory for this vacation, but we've definitely had 30 years of seeing unexpected things happen. So we do highly recommend it. About 50% of people take insurance. And especially if you've had an event, then of course you're, you're a fan. Uh, so I highly recommend that. Um, we have a form that we've asked everybody to fill out. It's called our fit and willing to travel. And most importantly, it gives us information about your flight schedules, as well as your, you know, things that will make your vacation important. Now, I'm just going to ask a question out here, guys. Can everybody see my screen? I just want to double check because every once in a while I plow into this and, um, and then I'm not showing the screen that I want to show. So I'm showing a checklist to prepare for your vacation. Is everybody seeing that? Can somebody give me a shout out in the chat? Yes, I am. Perfect. Thank you guys so much. So I'm going to go a little bit deeper into these things, but uh, the fit and willing to travel is a Google form. So you open it up and, and just answer the questions that are in, in that form. And uh, if you haven't done it yet, please do that. So that by the time I meet you, I know that you've signed off. I have what your highlights are that you're looking to to do on the trip so that I can make sure that I make it happen. Uh, we're also going to be talking using WhatsApp. So I know that not everybody's on it. And if anybody wants a lesson on that, maybe once we get to Canada, I'm happy to help you. But what's really cool about it is that we can, I'll load everybody's phone numbers in my, um, in a WhatsApp and we'll make, I'll make a group. So we're going to give you a schedule. You're always going to know what's going on with the group. But just in case there's a last minute change, it's easy for me to just, you know, send a message to everybody and we pivot, especially at a festival. We've designed our weekend getaways are a little bit different in that because we're in a city and in this case, it's a festival and there's a lot of things to do. We anticipate that you're going to be out and about, you're going to be making new friends, a couple of you may go one direction, some more may go in another direction. And on our schedule, we'll have the addresses and the phone numbers and the exact time that we'll be at each of our events. So that way, if you're out and about on your hop on, hop off, or you're, you're seeing a show, 
and then you want to convene with the rest of the group, you don't have to go back to the hotel. Uh, you could just meet us at that location if you'd like. And so if there's any change or let's say we're a couple of us are at one of the bandstands and we really like a band, I may say, hey, everybody, we're now there's a bunch of us over at this stage. If you're in the area, come and meet us. So getting on WhatsApp is going to be really helpful. And, and so if you're on it, great. Uh, we should have your phone number. And when you check in with me at the hotel, at the welcome desk, I'm going to have a list of everybody's phone numbers. I won't show everybody's number to everybody, but I'll have it so that you can double check your number, make sure I have your cell phone number. And then that way we can stay in touch and connect the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, the Jazz Festival schedule is out. Uh, there, is a, there is a link in this document that you can click on. And uh, there's also an app. So I want everybody to be able to download the Jazz Festival app so that you can get all the show and the latest information at your fingertips at, at, at the moment. So those are the main things for getting prepared. And let me show you on page two, we drill down into all of this. So for example, here's a link to the fit and willing travel commitment. There is also a link to um, how to download WhatsApp if you haven't done it yet. And then here's a link to download the festival app. So all you have to do is click on these. And I know when you're looking on Zoom here, it's not that large of a print. So it might not be so easy here for you today, but everybody should have received an email from us 21 days before we left, which was about, uh, you know, maybe 10 days ago. And if you didn't get it, let me know. Um, it's also accessible on the web page for the Montreal Jazz Fest weekend. So all of the accessible documentation is right here on page two. Of course, we're meeting now. So this is the last, you've got check number one. Um, continuing down this page, as more information, I'm not gonna go through all of this because I think you all have received it. Please, um, tag us during the weekend. So our hashtags are uh, for Facebook, it's Singles Travel International. Hashtag for Instagram is at Singles Travel so that we can share pictures and other people who aren't on the trip with us. Believe me, they definitely live vicariously through you guys. And it's also um, fun. Um, you know, I heard a couple of you say you're looking forward to seeing some old friends our new friends that are previous friends, none of us are old, right? <laughs> so we're going to, uh, I, I watch all of the pages and I see so many comments from others saying, hey, hey, Brad, hey, Kathy, hey, Dana, and so on and so forth. So everybody's watching. So be sure to tag us so they get a chance to see you um, on the singles travel page. Um, we have a merch store. So if you want to get some Singles Travel International um, gear, uh, you just click on this and you can place your order. If you're a premium member, you get $5 off of everything. So we have hats, t-shirts, jerseys, um, sweatshirts, you name it, it's available on the merch store. So I'm gonna skip through some of this and I'm going to start talking about um, the agenda. But I'm going to notice right here, you, you can see um, this is page five. Now this was published a couple of, like I said, about 10 days ago. And we're missing flight information for a lot of the members. I've since provided flight information, Tammy. Okay, yes. And like I said, this is, thank you. This was published 10 days ago, so we won't yeah. revise it. But what I'll do is I just have a, um, a manifest when I get there. And it's in this case, we're not including transfers, but it's nice for me to know what time everybody gets in. I will, I'll be at the hotel. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I got mine, somebody online, somebody at your site helped me finish it. I was having some problems when they came, they called me and we, we got it finished. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. no problem. We're happy to help. It's not always uh, intuitive. She was very helpful, by the way, yes. Thanks. Thanks. Gary. I was struggling with some some details and, I was, and she, she was helpful in sorting them out. Those are about flight numbers for the various flights. Okay, good. So you're all set. Um, 
And for the rest of you, as you finish that document, I will have the manifest. And it's really more for my um, help as your concierge on, on site to know when you're arriving. Um, and the same thing goes for the departure, which is going to be on the last page here. Um, we're going to. Tammy, I've got one more thing to say. Sure. This is my third trip with singles. I want to share with everybody else. These concierges are fabulous. And the, the agenda they provide you each day is, is great. I mean, you literally, you know, you know exactly where you can be or not be anytime. You just, you just choose. Most of the time we're all there, but it's just the, the, the venues that you guys create, the agenda you create for each day are always great. That's at least been my, my experience with you. Thanks, Gary. So that's a nice segue. Um, this is the program that we give. We usually call it the weekly program, but this is the weekend program. And so tonight after the meeting, I'm going to send you all an email with a PDF of this. Like I said, we normally give it to you on site, but because this is such a um, kind of a an open platform. Like when you're on a cruise with us, we're, we're, we will be together, of course, for breakfast, but there'll be some separation on this one. So I want to make sure you guys have this agenda before you go. Um, mm. plus, plus for attire, um, that wasn't in the letter and there's nothing fancy. Just that when you're traveling with singles, we tend to dress up a little bit nicer and <laughs> we're going to be at, um, the, the restaurant that we're going to on Saturday night is at the, it's at a rooftop. It's, it's a uh, rotating restaurant and it's a little bit, it's not fancy, but it's one of the better restaurants in town. So you might want to smart up a little bit for that one. So I put the attire on here. Uh, so you'll see after each event, I have the agenda, uh, the, what, what's the suggested attire. So then you can look at this. This will help you pack. So that's probably the only night where you dress up other than the last night. And so what we did was when you, um, if you notice on the website, we had a, an agenda that would be the first night we're going to a restaurant. Uh, then um, on Saturday night, we were going to do the jazz cruise. We swapped out the jazz cruise with the rotating restaurant. Because oh, so, so I'm sorry. So the, so the festival is on the, is on the cruise. Then. Is that correct? No, not the at jazz all. Festival? No, 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 Gary. The jazz festival is inside the town of Montreal, and there are multiple stages around the city. Okay, but we're also going to get jazz on the on the cruise. Is that what you're saying? There's a dinner cruise on Monday night. That's going to be our farewell dinner, and oh. um, and so so we swapped swapped out a couple of items. That's another reason I want you guys to have the schedule so that you can see how it changed. And um, I'm suggesting that um, you take a look at this. So again, it'll help you pack and also give you an idea of what, uh, what the revisions were. So everything that was included is still included. We just swapped out a couple of the days. I also changed the foodie walking tour to Sunday instead of Saturday. And um, we are going, because the group is, is larger, we have actually broken it into two groups. So we have two foodie guides. So we're gonna go together and we have a meeting point and we're gonna do that on Sunday morning. So um, you can see down here, that's gonna be at 9.30, we meet at the hotel and we'll all either walk to the meeting point. And in some cases during this entire weekend, there will be some choices. Some of you guys will like to walk. We'd like to get our steps in. And then some people would prefer to take a taxi. So if you want to take a taxi, I will always be there meeting you. I will, I've already scheduled enough time in the window for those who want to walk to make it to the destination, or you may be out and about and meet us there or take a taxi. So you'll always have a choice. And that is mentioned in all of the uh, daily schedules as well. So main thing that I want to bring to you as well as the attire and a couple of changes is the first night, because now I don't have everybody's flight schedules. So I'm highlighting right here. We're going to be going 
uh, the first night, our event starts at 630. So we're meeting in the lobby of the hotel at 6 p.m. on Friday, June 30th. And then you have a choice to walk or take a taxi. And we're going into a place in Old Montreal. So it's about a 20 minute walk. So we'll meet at six. Our party starts at 6.30. And we're gonna have a welcome drink and then followed by dinner. So if anybody's coming in later, I know that at least one person is going to be very close to this time. Um, again, I suggested that if you're coming in late, just go ahead and um, send me a message. My WhatsApp number is the same as my cell phone. So if you don't want to do it on the group message, you can just send me a message privately. And my phone number is not only in the letter, but it's at the top of this schedule. And you're all welcome to put my phone number in your phones as a contact for this weekend or any time in the future, I'm, I'm available if you ever have a question or you wanna text me or anything for a future trip. But put me in as a contact, it's area code 815-715-6998. And um, I'll put that in the chat for you guys as well as it's in the document. Yeah, would you repeat that again? I've got, I've got 815-715-6998. Yeah, and I put it in the chat. And it's in oh, there is. the okay. documentation. So make a contact because you're, if it's an emergency, you're going to want it. You're not going to want to shuffle through paper. <laughs> so, okay. Beautiful. So, so that is the daily agenda for the weekend. And now I'm going to show you guys the, I, well, maybe what I'll do tonight when I send you the email, I'll put this on as a PDF, I'll put the link to this recording, and then I'll put in the agenda for Jazz Fest. So you have that. And uh, you guys can download the app, which I highly recommend, but also with that link, you can, you can click on it and take a look at what's going on for the fest. Uh, let's see. One other thing is I would love, I know that there are lots of new members on this. So let's let them feel welcome. Those of you who have traveled with us before, you're looking forward to meeting some of your uh, friends from other trips. And you remember the very first time you did this, how it felt, right? You had some hesitation, maybe, maybe not, but I know doing this for such a long time that that's kind of the rule of thumb. You're not sure how will it be. And so let's remember everybody who's new, I will put a little star on their name tag so that you'll know who is new. And if you see somebody that's, you know, standing there and they have a star on their name tag and, um, you know, you haven't introduced yourself, let's make everybody feel welcome. And then <laughs> by the next trip, yes, you, you, pardon? <laughs> I said, of course. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, it seems um, probably extra to say that, but, uh, but again, just from, from uh, my experience, the extra little um, welcome and a smile makes a big difference for people, especially when it's their first time. So- Hey, Tammy, I've just added you to my contact. You're on my phone now. Perfect. On Sunday, this is totally optional. We take a lot of pictures. Many of you who have been on the trips before, we're taking pictures, we're putting information on uh, Facebook and Instagram. If you, uh, if you ever have an objection to being on our social media pages, that's not a problem. You just let me know early on, you know, confidentially, I will make sure without anybody else knowing that that's a thing, but I, we respect your privacy. So we don't have a problem with that. But if you don't say anything, then we're definitely taking pictures. And I think it would be fun, but you don't have to agree with this, but I think it'd be fun to wear our Singles Travel International t-shirts or any other <laughs> stuff that we have on, um, on the, uh, the day that we do the walking tour. It's just easier, too, for the, the guides to kind of keep an eye on us. And Tammy, will you have any, any of that stuff there with you, t-shirts that we could buy? Sure. Yeah, I mean, for me, for me, I'd want to try it on and make sure I like it before I buy well, it. You know, everybody. Well, first of all, everybody when they first travel with us, they get a T-shirt. So you got one when you went to New York with Linda last uh, Thanksgiving. You know, I went to New York. Were you in New York too? 
No, but I know yeah. that you were, I know that yeah. you were there. Yeah. So that was a great, that was a great trip, by the way. That was my yeah. first one. Um, well, if I got one, I don't remember it. Okay. So whatever. I just, you know, my, my memory is not, not any good anyway. I, I, my apologies. That's okay. So um, if anybody wants another one, Gary, I'm already going to put you down for that. I, okay, cool. if anybody okay. wants another t-shirt, great. If you have one, bring it with you. And if, if we all wear them, I think it'll make a nice picture before. We <laughs> so, um, yeah. So let's uh, let's all do that on Sunday morning. And again, if you need one, just go ahead and email me back when I send you the email tonight. Just send an email back and say, yeah, I'd love another T-shirt. I, I took a trip uh, uh, to Europe with you guys, to Italy, and then we did a cruise uh, through the, through the uh, Mediterranean. And we did a tour of ancient Rome. And they took some fabulous photos there of us in ancient, in ancient Rome. It was, it was a lot of fun. Anyway, I thought. All right, guys. So at this time, I'm just going to open up for questions to see if anybody else has some questions about the weekend. Um, let's, let's do this. Go ahead and unmute yourselves and, uh, and, and let me know where, where you're, uh, you're unsure. Tammy? Yes. Um, I have a question on a WhatsApp. That's the first time I've heard of the WhatsApp. Is that uh, better than just regular text messaging? You know, Brad, so um, WhatsApp is used with uh, internet, right? So you have to have an internet connection. And so it's free for people. And you can text me using your regular text or you can use the WhatsApp. Now, when we get to Canada, I'm going to show you how to do it. If you don't mind, I'll show you because what we'll do is a group text and I'll send out. So if I need to get some information to everybody, instead of individually texting 20 people, I'll create a group. And the reason I use WhatsApp instead of regular text is the following. Um, sometimes in international communication, there's a, there's a little bit of a, a glitch between Android and iPhone. And so we might be able to all communicate. I'm on an iPhone. So if I communicate with other iPhone users, it's not a problem. But if it's Android to iPhone or iPhone to Android, they don't always get the message. So that's why we use WhatsApp. Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> Always on the yeah. This is Joe. I have a couple of questions on the venues. Are are these just open venues or is there any reserved seating or is it a standing only? I've not been to this and so I'm a little curious. Sure. That's a great